You are looking down on three wedges at a dress. Aside from deep scrutiny, they all look pretty similar, but underneath they look very different. So different that we can't get our egos and perceptions to allow us to use one of them. This video examines a product that I feel would help so many golfers, but as I have said in so many of my videos, we buy with our eyes first and results are secondary. Let me explain. The three wedges you are looking at are all from Cleveland, very much the wedge specialist. Wedge 1, the classic shaped RTX. Wedge 2, the bulkier but very good CBX. Lots of golfers have converted to this wedge in recent years. And finally, Wedge 3, the Smart Soul Wedge. Now, Cleveland's marketing strap line for the Smart Soul 4 wedges is Embrace Easy, but we don't like to do that as golfers. They produce three wedges, very simplified, a sand wedge, a chipper, and a gap wedge, 42 degree, 50 degree, and 58 degree. What I would describe as idiot proof wedge play. Let's hit the course and get an opinion from me, the average golfer, and let's see what a professional golfer makes of these. My first full shot, Lou. Um, again, this morning on track, man, it was like a, an easy swing was about 100 yards. You were playing full shots with this, yeah? I tried full shots. Because what loft is it? 50. Oh, OK, cool. Uh, but I wanted to see, like, again, you know, is, it, is that realistic out on the course? That's a nice shot. It's right on line. I don't know, has it got enough legs, has it? Yeah. A little well, bit of like I don't, spun back a little bit front. of spin back. And that's again back onto Trackman this morning on a virtual course. There was a little bit of spin Hi, and it? action in it. And you wouldn't think I know it's not a club that you would ever go near, and I'll talk about that in a bit, but I'm still interested in for the masses how this might help. It doesn't look as bad over the ball, does it? Well that's a real interesting bit, yeah. That was as positive as it's getting, I think. <laughs> you stand in loads of reviews and go, ooh, that looks good, doesn't it? And you want to hit it. Yeah. And I think you put your best swing on it. The mindset's but massive. This my, my, my mindset in this is I couldn't, I, I just want to get as far away as I can, as possible from this club. Well, Lewis hasn't seen the intro to the video and the intro to the video is we've got three clubs lined up and when you sit them down by the ball, I can assure you the RTX wedge, this, and the CBX wedges, you, you can tell them apart if you pay enough time to look at it. Yeah, but yeah. honestly, what you just said there, at address, it's, there's not a lot to split them. No. When you walk into four golf in this case, and you see that in a, in a bag for sale, we look at it and they go, that not, that's not for yeah, me, yeah. mate. That's it's exactly the, the mentality I've got, just hitting it there. But most, most yeah, of yeah, us have. Just, yeah, yeah. I think that goes to you. Know, you gotta, you gotta play what you want to play, but it's playing what you want to play. I think we've got the way we're going to do this review is simple. I've asked Lewis along because it's like opposite ends of the spectrum, if you like. You don't need to be, you, you don't need to be playing this type of wedge. Yeah. You've got a good wedge game. It's you've got a consistent strike on your wedge game. You've got all the things that you know. Yeah, yeah. But but most of us haven't, and this kind of soul. And that kind of forgiveness in a wedge yeah. and, and all the little shots that nobody likes around the yeah, green, yeah. It, you know, it's a massive help for, for a, yeah, a lot well, of golfers. Yeah, I noticed that on the first, actually, yeah, yeah. It just comes off so much easier. Yeah. You, you, know, you have to literally just tap it and, and it'll, it's away. it'll do what you want it to do, yeah. We'll see. I would recommend this. Yeah, well, that's what and I'm saying. I'm, I'm just absolutely bashing it. 
Yeah. Go in, don't like the look of it, or can't hit green from 100 yards, but I would recommend it. Well, that's what I mean. You've got to put yourself in a position, haven't you, of, yeah. of like I said, who would, who would make use of it? Nice. Yeah. yeah. For that shot, that's exactly why I'd recommend it. Just easy. Can't argue with them, can you? No, it's not bad. And the feel's better that I think well, probably, I think, yeah. I think again, I mean, the thing I mentioned was the fact that I probably got mine then just a little bit off the bottom grooves. And I think, again, if you're using what you'd call a sort of speciality wedge or whatever, the, the player's wedge is a Vokey. Yeah. I'd it have felt... Doesn't carry as far that, does it? No. And, and I think you'd have felt it. Slope there, yeah. So it's kind of like you're getting a kind of... Well, it's a cavity back, isn't it? You're getting a kind of like a forgiving wedge, which is Definitely. what it is. Definitely. Well, we're going to try it in a bunker. This is not the... Uh, I, I explained in the intro, but just to sort of reiterate the point, they've got a, what is a, a chipper, effectively, which is uh, 42 degrees. This sits at 50, and then they've got a sand wedge, which is 58 degrees. And the sand wedge has even got a sort of wider sole. Cool. So I'm assuming... So from like a, a, a technical perspective, is this a sort of... Uh, you know, you you're could, not opening you a club face here, are you? You're just chipping yeah, you, right through you could it. Just, with that, you could just play it straight-faced. Yeah. You. This would be what I'd recommend for, you know, we've got a kind of medium length bunker shot, haven't we? Yeah. I'd just hit that. Yeah. Just hit that as you would. Obviously take the sand as you would with a bunker shot, but it should help out massively. <laughs> That's yeah, impressive, that, you know. Effort, it's effortless, isn't it? It is effortless, because you know what? It was like, it was, it was almost like, it's a chip shot with just making sure that you carry on, you sort of, uh, you know, ca carry on through that sand a bit, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Underneath it. Didn't do anything more than that. And the ball popped up really well. And this is there, don't forget, so that's why I was saying, this is their 50 degree. And that did plenty, uh, plenty good enough. And grab. You just wonder again there. I mean, with that, with with another wedge, is that gonna is that gonna grab? Do you think, Lou? Yeah, but what what it's aimed at, people just want to get it out. Don't yeah, they? I, I I speak to loads of people. And they're like, I just can't get it out. Once yeah. it's out, it can do what it wants. Well, you've got to get on the green, haven't you? Yeah, 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 definitely. But definitely. I do think there's your difference. I mean, we talked about the kind of the ideas Especially of why you... the higher lofted one. You know what I mean? That yeah. one there. That's you gonna could, pop you it up say, a bit. Oh, well, that's not got close. Where it's run on. But at 50 degree, it won't, we wouldn't be playing. No, it, but no it's, but uh, it's, it's ease of ease of use. It's, it's on just, the green and out the bunker. Yep. It's in, Luke. You might have to buy it. Right, seven holes in, and plenty of shots it with our uh, Smart Soul wedge. And I think that um, I knew from the beginning of this video that uh, what your immediate reaction would be, and it's kind of like what most people's would be. And that's like I said, that you look at it, yeah, it's pretty ugly. I think it's, yeah. it's a fair assessment. I prefer you have not to have passed it to me. No, <laughs> but it's like, and I think that's the thing. How do you make how do you make something like this uh, look better? I suppose in argument, Cleveland have done it with the CBX, and I think this is a kind of like a step further again in trying to help average golfers and for me it does it i had honestly i had no issue with any shot whether it be a, a chip and run with a bunker shot or playing in from a full hundred yards i i could not have criticized it it didn't look bad at address it felt good on every shot i hit i'd have no problem recommending it i think that yeah. would be my assessment is i would i wouldn't probably choose to hit it anywhere but i would recommend it for oh more than 50 percent of the people who i play golf with i think it's anybody if you if you've lost confidence in your chipping if that's a part of your game that you struggle with then the idea is and have a look in your bag now and just have a look at what wedges you've got and i think firmly believe that if you're playing speciality wedges as i'm going to call them yeah and i always pinpoint like both blades, blade, but blade, wedges, blade wedges, wedges yeah, yeah then ask yourself the question it isn't for everybody it's not meant to be for everybody but like i said there's certainly a market for it and all i can tell you is it feels really good it performs really well, it performs and I, great. I can't criticise yeah, it, if I'm no, honest. It performs great. Apart give, from the give looks. It, give it a chance. Yeah, yeah, give it a chance. You know, 
I've potentially been a bit over critical of it but it's not it's not designed for me it's designed for the masses and I think everyone should give it a go yeah you know, and everything in that you know the, the other two as well we've just tried the gap edge you know try the other two especially the 58 yeah everyone struggles at a bunkers you know and I think go and give that one a go I think it's designed to be sort of easy very easy yeah. and that's what it is and there's no wrong with making that golf easy and that's what i'm saying drop the ego try them and when i say drop the ego i'm not preaching because i might fall into that category as well uh, anyway thanks to chester golf club for having us this afternoon we just filmed uh, this and uh, there's also a couple of uh, videos coming up fairway woods from pxt so keep your eyes peeled for them more coming from lou and uh, i'll see you all very soon and don't forget all that business what they got to do lou oh like subscribe he's just got you know, it ring the Kids bell got it. ring the bell <laughs> ring that. the bell